welcome to this episode of the Gunman Raw. Let's get ready to paint some shit. So, yeah, what do we got this? Is it a GL? GL 63. Bit of a beastly car, this thing. Obviously a V8. 6.3 litre. Ooh, are we gonna have enough there? Might come close to running out. One, two, we're not gonna have enough. I should have another roll out here. There we go. I'll use that on a smaller job. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna talk about how I've been prepping the blends. I made a quick mention to it in some other videos, but I was yelling through my respirator, so you may not have caught exactly what was happening, but I was getting some contaminated blends. One, hold on, two, three, and it's a big car, so we go an extra half. Yeah, so I was getting contaminated blends on the darker colors, like blacks. So with this Stando Blue, you're best off using this blender. If you don't use the blender right, you'll get this profiling, like a sand piling type effect. Um, so what I was doing is, I was getting like, it, it looked like you didn't prep it properly, right? It, it looked like contaminated blends, but it turned out it was actually the base coat blender, making the blends look all, look all white. So it's like it stayed white. Um, anyway, I spoke to the paint rep about it today. I said, hey, I've been getting this issue. And he said, um, what you should pro probably try doing is finishing the blends off a little bit finer, which is what I actually did. I don't know if you can tell just by looking at it, but I've been finishing them off with um, 1000 grit. And I got these ones in, that's what I was gonna show you. So it's like some 3M blue. I tried it on this, this is the first job. And one of them, obviously still going, did both of those blends. So they appear to be um, good enough quality that you're not just gonna be burning through them. They're probably expensive, but my bosses here, man, they, they don't mind. I asked for these, right? I just said, oh, can you get some 1000 grip pads in? He ordered like 10 boxes in. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not exaggerating, he did. I'm like, well, I didn't need that many, but <laughs> one box would have done, but yeah, you should see the storeroom around here, man. It's chockers. Yeah, you gotta be careful with this booth, man. I didn't, I didn't tie this down once and I nearly lost the bloody door handle. I reckon it's like when I hit bake, the, the plastic flicked up like that and it grabbed one of the door handles and then I nearly lost it because it, it was wrapped up in the plastic and I'd thrown it out because I didn't realize. So yeah, that's why I always tie it down even in the booth. Oh, where's my mask here? And, oh, knocked something off there. And I've got to get some Prepsol rags here too. Grab a clean Prepsol rag. There's Eddie. Let's knock these off before. Alright, so where were we? That's right. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I probably wouldn't usually bother about doing a raw vid on this one, but it's a beautiful, nice, warm day. I'm in a good mood and I feel like it. And um, I did a video on the parts on this car, so I thought, well, why not do a continuation? It's spring now, so it's starting to warm up and the spirits start raising a little bit. You start feeling a bit better about life. The blood starts flowing, you know. I'm really not a big fan of winter. But to be fair, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm hating it less <laughs> this year than I did last year. <coughs> last year. Yeah, 
I can tell just by looking at it, that's like nice, fine prep work. So what I did is I, I started off by doing my normal prep, right? So I went 800 grit on the orbital sander, um, then 1000 grit by hand with one of those grippy pads. And then I went over the top of it with one of them, but dry. I was trying to read on the side to figure out whether or not you meant to use them dry or wet, but it looks like you can actually use them both here. So it says minus H2O, orbital or hands, plus H2O, water, water, orbital or hands. So to me that just says, oh yeah, so that's saying if you put it in the water, wring it out first. I think that's all it's saying, but um, yeah, by the looks of that, you can use it dry as well. And I mean, you definitely can. So yeah, fingers crossed that um, that has sorted out my issues. But I did actually, um, I treated it like a science project, right? Um, it was like a job that we noticed it on, it was like out the back right in the sun, like you wouldn't even see it in the workshop. Um, but it was when it got right out the back in there in the sun, the sun was just shining right on it. And you could see, as I say, it looked like a contaminated blend, but um, I saw it on that job and I thought, oh, it must have just been a once-off, like maybe a dirty sanding pad or something like that. Um, and then it happened again, and I'm like, okay, something's going on here. And then I did like a, a little Hyundai car yard job, right? It was a dark color. And I did all these different prep sections. I did one where I finish it off with 1500, one where I finish it off with my normal method, and all these different sections. And, and then like one section where I put the base coat blender up to here and then I stopped it halfway through the panel and I found out that it was the base coat blender which was doing it. But um, the way to fix it is to use the slow blender but put less on, if you know what I mean. So yeah, it's basically putting... So if you put the base coat blender on, or when you put it on, you need it to stay wet while you're doing your blend. So if you're using the normal blender, sometimes you can be tempted to put it on a little bit heavier to stop it from drying too fast. So that's basically why when I called up the paint rep, he said, use the, um, the slow blender all year round. And that's actually probably why I didn't have this issue when I was in Perth. Cause I don't remember seeing this when I worked with Perth because it's a lot hotter and um, drier over there in Perth. I actually did use the slow blender all year round already so because it is a bit more humid over here and a bit colder over here in melbourne it's probably why i decided to use the normal blender just so it dries a bit quicker once you do get it down um, but yeah it all seems to make sense and i've done i've tested this um on the bumper on this car actually so again this is gonna be the, the big test you know what i mean but i, I think we're gonna have it nailed. It's good. It's good to overcome a problem. <laughs> I ended up actually putting like a little bit of water in with it as well just to sort of thin it down and give it less body I guess. You can go up to 10% water which basically just slows it down and again as i say it, it dilutes it a little bit which i thought it would give it less chance of grabbing onto those sanding scratches and leaving a bit of color behind but yeah it's good like called him up a uh, paint rep bang he knew straight away what what I was talking about, knew straight away how to fix it. You know, some of the other pain reps for the other companies, like you you try to contact them, like, oh, I've never heard anyone say that before. Like they get all defensive, so, oh, mate, nobody else has ever had a problem. I'm like, okay, <laughs> well, yeah, I've got an issue. You're not helping. Oh, that's another cool thing about this shop, man. Like you open the fridge up there, man, they've got like Coke, iced tea, water, so good I know it's only like a little thing but I don't know makes it makes it sort of nice to work here um, here we go prep soil uh, 
um, I'm going to be putting on my respirator when I'm prep soldering too actually. Wax some gloves on too. I reuse these over and over and over again. They're the Colad grey gloves, nitrile grey gloves, large. Spray guns direct again. Thanks for the shout out. I mean thanks for the, um, the, the gloves. They just send them out to me. Anyway, on with the respirator. Probably really can't hear me anymore. I don't
lay back in a few minutes with some clear in the gun. Rightio, let's get this bad boy cleared up. Australian! Australian reborn, baby! Skinny on the first coat. Let's go! This shit never gets old, eh? Hey? 